um, hi students uh, so now we we'll, we are going to discuss about a uh, one problem uh, a mechanical translation system is given we have to uh, find the vo force voltage analogous and the force current analogous circuit of the given mechanical uh, translation system so this is the given uh, mechanical translation system you have to draw the force voltage analogous and force current analogous circuit and you are also you have to verify using mesh and node equations so uh, you know the first steps first you have to identify how many nodes are there in this figure there are three nodes m1 m2 and m3 so you have to draw the free body diagrams of m1 m2 and m3 for uh, when we draw the free body diagram of m1 uh, the opposing forces exerted on m1 are fm1 fb1 fk1 fb3 and fb2 see fm1 fb1 fk1 fb2 and fb3 these are the opposing forces and there is no applied force and there is no applied force here okay and you have to uh, mark the displacement x1 and also velocity v1 so you write the expressions for fm1 is equal to m1 d square x1 by dt square fb1 is fb1 is b1 into dx1 by dt b1 into dx1 by dt fk1 is k1 into x1 fb2 is b2 into d by dt of x1 minus x2 x1 minus x2 b2 b2 into d by dt of x1 minus x2 that is fb2 okay similarly for fb3 is b3 into d by dt of x1 minus x3 and we know this equation so by newton's second law addition of all these opposing forces will be equal to zero since there is no applied force there is no input force here so m1 into d uh, d square x1 by dt square plus b1 dx1 by dt plus k1 x1 plus b2 d by dt of x1 minus x2 plus b3 into d by dt of x1 minus x3 is equal to 0 so now you write this equation in terms of velocity so d square x1 by dt square now becomes dv1 by dt dx1 by dt will become p1 v1 x1 will become integral of v1 dt d by dt of x1 minus x2 will become v1 minus v2 here also it will become v1 minus v3 so this is the differential equation in terms of velocity so likewise you have to write the equations for m2 and m3 i think uh, uh, now you can uh, easily write the expressions for m2 and m3 and i will show the free body diagram this is the free body diagram and from the figure itself uh, it is very clear the elements associated with m2 are m2 that is uh, opposing forces are fm2 fk23 fb23 and fb2 fm2 fb2 fb23 and fk23 okay so now addition of these opposing forces will again equal to zero and now you can easily uh, write these equations likewise you have to find the free body diagram of m3 also for m3 the elements associated are m3 k23 b23 b3 see fm3 fb3 fb23 and fk23 okay now addition of these opposing forces is equal to zero as there is no input force now you write the expression in terms of velocity now the question is how will you find the force voltage analogous electrical circuit of this given mechanical translational system when we are when we are converting a mechanical translational system to a force voltage analogy how you you should notice how many masses are there or how many nodes are there that much number of meshes will be there since there are two three masses there will be three meshes in the force voltage analogous electrical circuit see three meshes will be there for the first mesh for the first mesh which all elements will be associated m1 k1 b1 b2 and b3 so for these elements uh, the analogous value the analogous 
elements of these value these uh, elements that is m1 k1 b1 and b2 b3 analogous elements of these three these all elements will be associated with mesh one and remember one thing when uh, for the uh, for the analogous elements for b2 and b3 these elements will be shared with for b2 that will be shared with mesh 1 and mesh 2 the analogous element of b3 will be shared between mesh 1 and mesh 3 now we will look into the analogous elements in force voltage analogy we know the analogous element of m1 is l1 isn't it m1 is l1 m1 l1 m2 l2 m3 l3 and for k it is capacitance so k1 is will become 1 by c1 k23 is 1 by c23 uh, for dashboard it is resistance now how will you draw the force voltage analogous circuit so m so which all elements are associated with mesh one only m1 k1 and b1 okay so the analogous value of m1 is l1 for k1 it is c1 b1 it is r1 so l1 c1 and r1 l1 c1 and r1 are associated with mesh one only and which all elements are mesh, uh, shared for b2 for b2 the analogous element is r2 so r2 is shared between mesh 1 and mesh 2 and for b3 the analogous element is r3 and r3 is measured between m1 and m3 so now we'll look into the force voltage analogous electrical circuit c for mesh 1 c1 r1 l1 this is these are elements associated with mesh 1 only and r3 is associated with mesh 1 and mesh 3 and r2 is associated with mesh 1 and mesh 2 so for the second mesh for the second mesh m2 is associated with mesh 2 only the analogous element of m2 is l2 so l2 is only for mesh 2 then uh, b2 is shared between m1 and m2 so b2 is r2 now, we already mentioned it r2 is shared between m1 and uh, mesh 1 and mesh 2 then k23 that is c23 b23 is r23 so c23 and r23 will be mesh uh, will be shared between mesh 2 and mesh 3 see c23 and r23 is shared between mesh 2 and mesh 3 l2 is associated with mesh 2 only and similarly for m3 m3 only uh, for mesh 3 or for node 3 m3 or m3 only is associated with the third node so in the electrical analogous circuit corresponding to m3 our element will be l3 l3 alone is associated alone is associated with uh, mesh 3 and these elements are shared between mesh 2 and mesh 3 and this b3 corresponding to b3 it is r3 that is shared between mesh 1 and mesh 3 corresponding to k23 it is c23 b23 it is r23 so r23 and c23 is shared between mesh 3 and mesh 2 l3 is associated with mesh 3 only so this is the force voltage analogous electrical circuit now we can easily write down the mesh equations it is very simple for the first case it is 1 by c1 into integral i1 dt plus i1 r1 plus l1 into di1 by dt plus r3 into i1 minus i3 plus r2 into i1 minus i2 uh, you have to remember one thing when we are uh, right uh, when we are um, drawing force voltage analogous circuit voltage will be the input and output will be the current so we have to write in terms of uh, current in the differential equation we are writing in terms of velocity in electrical analogous circuit we are writing in terms of current and since there is no applied force in the mechanical translational system there is no input voltage source here for the second mesh for the second mesh uh, now the equation is it is very simple l2 di2 by dt then r2 into i2 minus i1 1 by c2 3 into integral i2 minus i3 plus r2 3 into i2 minus i3 
and similarly for uh, the third uh, mesh third mesh the equation will be l3 into di3 by dt plus uh, r3 into see you can uh, 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 write the order either in this way or in this way okay so r3 into i3 minus i1 plus 1 by c23 into integral i3 minus i2 dt plus r23 into integral i3 minus i2 is equal to 0. So these are the mesh equations and these are you verify this these three equations with the differential equation of the mechanical translation system. And now we look into the uh, force current analog circuit. When we talk about force uh, current analog circuit analog circuit uh, the input will be force uh, in the mechanical translation system in the electrical translation system uh, current will be the input source so here in that case voltage will be the output source okay so we have to uh, find out the analogous elements uh, m1 all masses will be replaced by capacitances then inductance sorry spring stiffness of the spring k1 uh, all k terms will be uh, replaced by inductance you remember one thing always in force current analogy spring is replaced by inductance both are same sim both are having same symbol and for uh, for both the cases dashboard is replaced by resistor so in force current analogous circuit since our mechanical translational system is having three uh, nodes we will have three nodes these are the three nodes. So, from with the first node, what all elements? M mass element was there corresponding to mass. A capacitance is there. Then a spring was alone there. K one so with respect to K one there is L one. Then with B one uh, uh, corresponding to B one there is R one. Okay, R uh, R two is shared between node one and node two. And R3 is shared between node 1 and node 3. Okay. So for node 2, M2 is only there, isn't it? For node 2, M2. So corresponding to M2, there is C2. For node 3, corresponding to M3, there is C3. Sorry. There is C3. And here L23 is shared between uh, node 3 and node 2 and R23. That is for corresponding to B23. This is for corresponding to K23. Okay, that is shared between node 2 and node 3. And R3, that is corresponding to B3. That is shared between node 3 and node 1. So, this is the force current analogous circuit. And now you can write down the differential equations. Or, sorry, uh, uh, now you can write down the node equations. And these node equations are analogous to the uh, uh, differential equations governing the mechanical translation system. This is the first node equation. This is the second node equation. And this is the third node equation. C1 into dv1 by dt. Here the, we are writing in terms of voltage. C1 into dv1 by dt plus uh, 1 by r1 v1 or v1 by r1 plus 1 by l1 into integral v1 dt plus 1 by r2 v1 minus v2 plus 1 by r3 v1 minus v3 is equal to 0. That is one equation. Second equation is C2 into dv2 by dt plus v2 minus v1 by r2 plus 1 by L23 into integral V2 minus V3 dt plus 1 by R23 into V2 minus V3 is equal to 0. And this is third equation. And also one thing, you have a homework question and you have to write the, you have to uh, uh, find the force voltage and force current analogous circuit of the given system. And also you have to write the mesh and odd equations. Okay, thank you.